how should operators transform themselves to, um, in terms of value-added services in order to, to embrace this, this phenomenon? Well, so of course, operators have always had competition. I mean, mm -hmm. they've always faced competitors. The difference now is that they're dealing with competitors that, um, that have brand. So mm -hmm. you look at an Apple or a Google. Um, they have content relationships, which you know, the operators typically haven't been very good at establishing. And they also don't have the same legacy infrastructure that mm -hmm. operators have to face. Right. So then, you know, to answer your question, how do they, how do they leverage value-added services to compete with that? I, I think they really need to understand what they have at their fingertips and what kind of assets they can, they can capitalize on. Um, you know, things like presence information, APIs that it, they can expose. And, you know, then you have things like subscriber information. Mm -hmm. So I think it becomes important for operators to figure out what kind of strategy they want to take. Do they want to partner with the over-the-top providers, possibly providing them things like QoS guarantees or subscriber data? Um, do they want to create their own content ecosystems, or you know, do they simply want to be the pipe? Um, I, I would say that most operators are not going to pursue that strategy, but I think you're always going to get some subset that figures that's their best business model. So it just, there's no one-size-fits-all strategy. I see. Uh, apart from all these uh, internet-based um, applications that are, and services that are posing threats to the operators, um, what other factors do you think are now driving operators to transform themselves in the vast space? Number one factor is churn. Um, you know, if you look at some of the, the developed markets, they're rapidly hitting their saturation point, particularly in the mobile space. Um, the more emerging markets, you see very rapid subscriber growth, very hyper-competitive markets. Mm -hmm. uh, what operators have found, though, is that the, the larger number of services they can sell to a subscriber, the stickier that relationship becomes. So they're really looking for ways to, to maximize the number of services they can sell and, and really um, improve their retention that way. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the other factor is, is revenue per user. I mean, we're seeing... ARPU flat or even declining in some markets. Um, price pressures are, are really uh, affecting operators, particularly in, in markets like North America, where you know they've really gotten used to the the all-you-can-eat model and, and not being able to to uh, increase prices due to the competition. So they're looking for ways to to increase that revenue per user by you know, additional services and value-added services. Can you give us a couple of uh, successful examples of vast transformation? What, what were the goals and, and how were they achieved? It's hard to do that just because a, a transformation like that isn't an overnight process. Mm -hmm. it, it's definitely an ongoing thing. Um, and I think even those operators that have been very aggressive about it are still in the very early stages. Uh -huh. And there's different approaches. So you look at someone like a Telefonica, for example, which is really actively pursuing a, a digital app marketplace approach. Um, and then that's really targeting the consumer market with value-added services. Mm -hmm. um, you have other operators like Zane, for example, who is basically providing value-added services to third parties like advertisers by subscriber, uh, exposing subscriber data, location information. Um, and then you've got operators like, like Colt or like SFR that are taking more of a of an enterprise approach and, and value-added services in terms of, of cloud-based services to their, their enterprise customers. So um, you know, there's certainly a, a number of ways to approach this opportunity, and I think it's an ongoing transformation project within most operators. I see. Now, we all know about the, the wholesale applications community formed by some operators in order to uh, compete with application stores from Apple or Google. Uh, what would you say are the advantages or the disadvantages of the operators in such an approach? Well, I'd say the primary disadvantage that are facing operators now is they're late to the market. I see. Uh, obviously, you look at the success of the App Store, of the Google Android Marketplace, they're, they're far ahead of where the operators are and where they need to be. And the other primary issue is, is brand. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone knows the Apple App Store. Um, operators are really going to need to, to play catch up with that. Um, what operators have, though, is, is really that, that relationship with the subscriber. They have subscriber information. They have the direct relationship with the subscriber. And, and I think that's going to be their primary advantage in, in creating their app store strategies. Um, and the advantage to something like the WAC is it sort of lets them 
abstract that uh, developer relationship, nice. which is something that has historically not been um, not been their core competency. So, sure. it, you know, what the WAC does is really enable them to to hand that off to a third party. How do you view operators' investment in in SDP? I mean, how vital is SDP to uh, vast transformation? I think the SDP needs to be the basis of a vast transformation strategy. Um, you know, typically services have been delivered in, in very vertical silos. You've got a video service delivered over a video specific um, network service delivery environment. Same thing with voice, same thing with data. Right. Um, with value added services, the idea is that you're able to be more creative in combining services, cross sell and upsell and packaging. Mm -hmm. And that's really the, the point behind the service delivery platform is more of a horizontal services layer. So I, I think if you're really looking to do a, a comprehensive value-added services strategy, you need something like a service delivery platform.